The problem reads, a balloon is inflated from 4 times 10 to the 6 liters to 4.5 times 10 to the 6 liters by the addition of 1.3 times 10 to the 8 joules of heat. If the balloon expands against an external pressure of 1 atmosphere, what is delta U for this process? Okay, like always, we start by writing what we have down. These are volumes, so we have volume 1 equals 4 times 10 to the 6th liters and volume 2 equals 4.5 times 10 to the 6th liters. And what else do we have? We have to get from here to here that Q is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the 8 joules and P external is equal to 1 atmosphere. Let's see, right. and we're looking for delta U. Well, we know delta U is equal to Q plus W. We're given Q, so what we're looking for is W. So we know that this is 1.3 times 10 to the 8 joules plus W. And we have W equals minus P external dV. And we're given our volumes. So all we have to do is be very careful of our units. So let's calculate W, add it to Q, and we will have delta U. So we have equal W equals P external is minus 1 atmosphere. And we know that uh, we have 100 and 1,325 or whatever you're given pascals per atmosphere. And then we have 4.5 times 10 to the 6 minus 4 times 10 to the 6 liters. And we know we have 1,000 liters in a meter cubed. So this is 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed over liters. And when we have pascals and meters cubed, we get joules. So we're good. So let's get our calculator out and multiply that. First, let's make sure we can cancel these out so we see that they're canceled. Okay, so calculator. That minus there, 101.325 times parenthesis 4.5 EE6 minus 4 EE6 parenthesis times 10 to the degree minus 3. Okay, enter. So we get minus, and then let's count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So minus 5 times 10 to the 7. We put it like that because that's what we have here with joules. So that's actually minus 0 0.5 times 10 to the 8 joules. Right? And so we need delta U is Q plus W. So delta U is equal to 1.3 times 10 to the 8 joules minus 0 0.5 times 10 to the 8 joules. I'd get a calculator out. You can do whatever you want. So 1.3 EE8 minus 0.5 EE8 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equals 8 times 10 to the 7 joules or 0 0.8 times 10 to the 8 joules if we want it in the same units as was given. So that's the answer to that question. Notice that delta U is positive, so the system gained energy. That is, more heat was input than was lost through work, so that the system has gained energy.